Hi, I'm Michael, and I'll be showing you how to upload an external data file into the RStudio server space so that you can use it with the software. We're going to be using the Karloff dataset, and it can be found in any one of the units within the high school class. All I'm going to do is go up to unit 0, scroll down until I find our homework 0, and here I see the Karloff University dataset. I'm going to click on it, and it'll start to download, and since I'm Safari, it'll actually show up in my downloads folder. Here I've created a folder on my desktop called OnRamps, and all I'm going to do is just simply move it on over. This way I know where to point the RStudio server when I need to upload this file. Now at this point, I can double click on it and I can open up this in Excel. I can make sure that my data looks good. I can make sure that I have just one row at the very top that's uh, comprised of variable names. And since everything looks good, I'm just going to close it out. And I'm not going to save it as an Excel file or anything else. I'm just going to simply save it as a CSV file. At this point, I'm going to go off into RStudio server. Now, I've already clicked on the RStudio server link on the left-hand side of the page and inputted all of my credentials. And I have RStudio now up and running in a different tab. The easiest way that I found to bring in external data is to create a new folder and simply call that new fol folder external. And once that's done, I can click on it. And this is the place that I'm going to store all of that external data. So I'm going to click on Upload. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to click the button that says Choose File. From there, I've already located my OnRamps folder. And we can see that that Karloff University dataset is already within that OnRamps folder that's underneath my desktop. So I know that this is the right data set. Basically, all you're going to want to do is navigate to wherever that CSV file is that you wish to upload into the RStudio server environment. Now I'll click on Choose, and I'll click OK. And automatically, RStudio server brings that file in, that CSV file, into that specific folder that we just created called External. And you'll notice that this data set isn't in our work environment yet. In order to get it up there, we actually have to tell our studio to import the data set. So we'll click on Import Data Set from a local file, and we'll double click on the folder that we just made called External. And from here, we can see that Karloff University data set. We'll click on it and then click Open. As of right now, this is set up correctly. We can see the bolds for the variable names because we have a very specific heading turned on to Yes. Sometimes this heading is turned off to no, and we see at the very top of the exemplar data frame here in the lower window, variable names composed of v1, v2, v3, so on and so forth. If we see this, we know that the first thing that we need to do is go off and look at this heading to make sure that that radio button is checked yes. Now for me, what I like to do is I like to uncheck the strengths as factors. You don't have to. But the important thing is, is that you give, need to give this data set an actual name for the environment. And I'm simply going to call this Karloff, but all with one uh, lowercase concept. And I'm simply going to click Import. And there you have it, a way to get an external data set off into RStudio so that you can use it within the server.